Hello everybody, this is Tim here again, here with another movie review, this time for Kids vs. Aliens, the second of two spinoffs of um, the VHS series, the other one being Siren, which I reviewed last time. I used to grade my movies from 1 to 4 stars, but now I'm doing them at 1 to 5 stars. And from uh, Siren, I did not like, if you watched that review, you already know, I did not like it. I gave it like a low 2 stars, it's a passable, one-off watch. Or no, I think I gave it 1 star, I think I hated it. Yeah, not two stars. I'm, I've already pretty much forgot the movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave it one star. I, it sucked. This is worse. Kids vs. Aliens. What's funny, though, is this had more potential, and it's better put together. But it's an overall worse movie because of the fact that it had more potential. It's more of a letdown. You got the story here. It's pretty much kind of similar to something like The Goonies or something. You got these kids who are, like, making a movie or whatever, and the older sister, like, likes to have fun and wrestle and everything and goof off and help them out with their movie. And then these bullies show up, and the bullies are, like, cartoon characters. Like, the main bully, he's, like, pissing on people's walls and doing all kinds of crazy shit. And at the end, he even, like, murders a kid. He's, like, he shows up. He's just kind of an asshole at first. Supposed to be kind of, like, the bad boy or whatever. But then he just becomes more and more of a cartoon as the movie goes along. And the aliens show up at the beginning in the water. And then they disappear for the whole rest of the movie. It's pretty much just, like, a kid's teen flick with a very lighthearted tone for, like, the rest of it in the middle section. This is a B movie, and it knows it is. And it tries to throw in comedy bits with the kids saying cuss words uh, every now and then and stuff like that. Which it is pretty funny at points. But uh, the pretty much the story of the movie is the older, I mean the bully or whatever wants to use like uh, the older the, the the kids like sisters the the one of the kids who's working on the movie or whatever they make these handheld they make these movies or whatever and um, he has uh, the main kid has like an old slightly older sister and the the bully wants to use like the fact that she has a crush on him to like basically manipulate her into letting them throw the party they want to throw at her house and so he does that and uses it and acts like he likes her and all that which of course he doesn't and at the end they're throwing a party there and destroying the house he wants to throw them out and everything and he's like well f you we're that's not happening uh, we're destroying this place we're having a party party bash or whatever and then just it just goes on and on with the teen flick shit for just a while and he's like pissing on the walls and stuff the main bully is it's just real stupid and then the aliens <laughs> finally finally show up and i'm sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background shut up boy He's basically like an alert system <laughs> whenever something may be near. But yeah, and the aliens finally show up and they're like abducting everybody and everything like that and all that. And it's, it's It gets more entertaining here when all this starts to happen and everything. And this is when I started to have more fun with the movie because the sister's character arc is her like the becoming, becoming tough again because she used to be like a rational and everything. So she becomes tougher and gets like this sword from the alien ship, which coincidental that she finds it. And she uses it to basically like, whoop the alien's ass and like rescue her brother and his friends and all that. And then, that's, and then the bully gets rescued too and he just like turns psychotic. And of course the bully like gets out of there and escapes with a scuba suit and he has like a... 10 or 15 minute head start on everybody else and instead of just getting in his car and driving off and leaving he goes back to the house where the party was at and just like hides out in there where the aliens are coming back instead of just leaving driving off so that was stupid and they come back and he's like an asshole won't even let him in or whatever so at this point he's just psychotic for completely psychotic for no reason at all instead of just being an asshole bully he's now entered like psychopath realm and he won't let him in there. And then uh, his one of his friends also got turned into an alien or whatever. They the aliens when they abduct them, they pour like goo on some of them. It transforms them into aliens, and they use them as like basically drones. And they got one like chasing after him, and uh, he like puts a a lighter and you know some hairspray and sprays fire into its face and everything. Kind of a weak effect, um, digital wise. But uh, they keep chasing after him, and he eventually like, gets the sword and is like, threatening to randomly kill the sister or whatever because he's blaming her for everything that happened and all that. For the fact that he's there, he's like, it's, it's stupid. It makes no sense. Like, he's completely went insane all of a sudden for no reason whatsoever when he should be, like, working together or, hell, just run off into the woods or something to get away from the aliens. Um, but now he's just randomly crazy for no reason, and so he's, like, threatening to kill her, and then the other kids, like, jump on him or whatever, and including her brother to try to stop him. He beats the hell out of him, and then he stabs one kid, like, straight through the gut and murders him, like, kills an innocent little kid. Like, it's, it's crazy how, like, w way off this movie goes. Uh, and they try to, it's like the problem with this movie, one of the biggest problems is tonal problem, where the director doesn't seem to know what type of movie this should be, even though it should be obvious. Like for most of the movie, it's a really cartoonish kind of like kids B-movie horror flick similar to the Monster Squad. But then he throws in like these random moments where like the bully stabs one of the kids and all that kind of shit. And then he has like an ending that's overly dark for no reason whatsoever. Like the, the one kid who's dying or whatever after he gets stabbed, well the bully gets killed. He gets ate by one of the creatures or whatever. And then kind of a lackluster death. Uh, it just like gets his throat bit or whatever and you just, that's it. And it's really weak and happens really fast. Weak gore. But um, 
and then the, the rest of the kids or whatever, they like the the kid that's dying, he tells them to like take the fireworks and make like this bomb or whatever, and the spaceship will pull it up in the air, and it pulls it up in the air and absorbs it, and it blows up inside the spaceship and takes it out. And then the rest of the aliens, the sisters like fighting them back and forth, whooping their asses with a sword. Cool action scene. She takes one after cutting like its arm off and pushing its head on a stick or whatever, and says, "Take a look at that mother effer or whatever." It's pretty cool. But yeah, I like the sisters' arc in this and everything, and you know where it's going. But it is fun when she starts whooping the aliens' ass, and it is adequate fun action for the budget that this movie has which is obviously low uh and so at that point i was like no well, this is all right for what it is but then you get to the ending uh even though the bully stuff was real stupid but then you get to the ending and it just really destroys all the goodwill like if it wouldn't been for this ending i could have looked past like the stupid bully stuff and all that and been like you know what this is okay for what it is a low budget b movie i'd give it a, like a two okay star rating or like a two and a half all right just because of the fun or whatever of it going on and because this movie has because you spend so much more time with the characters and the fact that the character has an actual arc in this with the sister as compared to something like siren which is just like a cheap horror movie story or whatever that would have been like an episode of tales from the crypt or something stretched out uh this had more potential in terms of the story but at the same time this also feels like they're just padding and padding thrown in with the teenager stuff just to also stretch this one out but for the basic story that we do get it is stronger than what we got in the siren movie um so yeah overall i could have gave this like a two and a half and then you get to the ending this government agency shows up guns down the last of the aliens so you're like well it's, it's gonna be over right and no they like wrap plastic around all the kids faces and abduct them and put them in like cryostasis and that's how it ends. That's just this is how it ends. It's stupid. It makes unnecessarily dark for a movie like this. For with such a campy B movie story, it's just overly unnecessarily dark. It would be like if a movie like The Monster Squad ended with like uh, the apocalypse happening and all the kids like having their you know getting drained of blood or something. It's like it doesn't make any sense. This is really unnecessarily dark ending. And I know why they put this ending here. Uh, at least I believe I do. It's because uh, I think they felt like they had a potential with this movie and in terms of the story and everything more than what they had with something like Siren, which they did, but they squander it by, with the the ending of the movie, which pretty much kills it. Um, because it's so unnecessarily bleak for no reason. That and the bully character being like a cartoon, that really weakens this. Uh, but then when you get to the ending or whatever, it's just, like I said, it feels like they just put it in there because they're like, well, we got potential with this. We could actually make a series out of this. That's what I feel like they thought they were going to do there. And I feel like that's why they put this ending here because like, hey, we could get a sequel here. That's what this feels like. It feels like an ending thrown in deliberately. That way, these kids could like be woken up at some point in the future or something in a sequel and out of cryostasis, and they would have to like help you know fight the aliens or something as like their older selves or whatever after they've been in cryostasis for so long or some shit. Um, I guess you don't age in cryostasis; you're just frozen. I don't know, but of course the kids would have to be older than in another one, so who knows? But I have a feeling that's what they were planning and thinking they could do, make this into a franchise or a trilogy or something, but. You, got, you can't do that. You can't think of film in that kind of terminology. You have to look at each movie as a self-contained unit. And they don't do that here. They're trying to set it up for a sequel. And it just feels unnecessarily mean-spirited for no reason for such a light-hearted story. I have no problems with darker endings if that's what you want to do in a movie. But it has to... Whatever ending you do, dark or light, has to fit the tone and type of movie you are making. This is just unnecessarily dark for no reason whatsoever. So, yeah, overall, because it had more potential and wasted it by the end... I gotta give this a lower score than what I gave Siren, which I gave Siren a one. This is a zero. Uh, from one to five stars, this is a zero. It had more potential than Siren and could have been something special, it's like a low-budget B flick. It could have been okay to all right, but they just piss it away at the end. So yeah, overall, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again.